the mountain ninjas take the last days of the Smokies. I love you. Yeah. Uh-huh. All right, let's roll. Um, so five minutes into hiking in 75 degree weather, I remember what I smell like in 75 degree weather while I'm hiking. So there's that. We got a ride back to Newfound Gap and we are just doing three short and easy miles into the shelter today. The only other option was to hike 11 and figure that that was not a smart decision um, on our first day back with full packs and all that jazz. And clearly we can't stealth camp because of where we are. So, I don't even know the name of the shelter that we're going to, do you remember? I don't know. I don't know, whatever is immediately after Newfound Gap. Today is a good day. Oh, really, Gina? And I'm pretty sure that I've ingested about 50 gnats by now. And maybe it's a good source of protein. Uh, and, uh, yeah. A lot of people are on spring break. So we're just running into a lot of families and people that smell good. In the next like five or six days, once we finish up these miles, Tom and Linda will meet us and pick us up and then we'll resupply and then leapfrog over the miles that we had slack packed. We are trucking along here, feeling good. Hello everyone, we made it to the shelter. And there's a decent number of people here, I guess, but it, it'll probably fill up. Um, we are just watching a couple of deer linger around here. So, they're pretty to watch. We have so many deer at home, but it's always cool to see them in the woods. Um, but it's like beautiful weather today. It's like absolutely perfect hiking. Ooh, they're coming over closer. My friend. These are like New Jersey deer. They just don't care. We've done maybe like five and a half miles and we have about another mile and a half to I think it's uh, Shelton really windy up here but we are pretty high up I would say I've been thinking quite a bit about uh, well uh, let me back up so I don't have like an unlimited amount of time to through hike and uh, neither does Jay, but it would be a lot easier for Jay to get like an extra week than it would be for me. And uh, I know that we have a lot of time, but I'm the kind of person where like, I don't want to say that I like sticking to a really rigid schedule, but I like being in a rhythm and a flow of things. And when that gets suddenly interrupted, I feel kind of like off kilter and it takes me a little bit to kind of get back into the swing of things. I was just thinking a lot about like, oh, damn, like I don't want to be out here thinking about miles, but at the same time, being held up for almost two weeks is like, crap, that's like half of a month. And you know, we haven't even pulled our first 20 mile day yet. And just like all those kinds of thoughts. and. I know I'm probably going to get a ton of comments about like, it's not about the miles, it's about the journey and the memories you make and the people you meet. And I 100% agree with you and I, and I know that. There's just that part of my brain that I, I don't like getting thrown off like that. Um, and I know that I don't have an unlimited amount of time. I have to be home by the end of August at the absolute latest. And I hate even thinking about the end. Like, I don't want to think about August. Like that's, 
what five four and a half months away uh, I think that that feeling will kind of go away once we start getting into a groove again but um yeah it's just kind of where I was at this morning we are at Charlie's Onion And we are at Tri Corner Shelter. Go set up the it is. What time is it? It's, uh, six. No, it's seven o'clock already. Um. So we're at. Tri Corner Shelter, and it's our second, well, I guess kind of our third day back on trail, if you count our six mile day the other day. Mm. I don't know. But anyway, um, we both felt really good today, and uh, we did, what was it, I think 12 and a half miles. Yeah. Um, we were going to take a really long break at the shelter that was halfway between, but it was like a half mile off the trail. I don't really feel like adding on a fake mile today. So, um, a bunch of other people, we just kind of plopped ourselves down and took a good lunch break and all that stuff. So, uh, we're definitely in the bubble. Like, yeah, there's so many people. There's so many people at the shelter, and um, like all the tenting spaces are filled up. So, I mean, it's it's fine. It's just like a little bit claustrophobic feeling. I think I said this earlier, but yeah, I don't know. What do you think? A lot of people. At least the weather's nice. Kind of. Right. Riveting. Um, yeah, I guess hopefully once we skip up to uh, past the miles that we slack packed, it might like thin out a little bit, but yeah, yeah. Other than that, we'll kind of be happy to be done with the Smokies. It's really pretty. But yeah, it, it's really cool, and it's like a nice section. But the whole sleeping in shelters and only staying at shelters, meh. not a fan. Yeah, there's too many people. Everybody's got to be here. So like, there's literally like it's a crowd of people right 45, now. 45, 50 yeah. people over there. Yeah. Yep. Um, I don't know. Today, other than that, was kind of uneventful. Uh, tomorrow, we have a good day planned that will get us to Davenport Gap, which gets us out of out of the park. And I guess uh, we have a box waiting for us at Standing Bear Hostel, which is right along the trail, for those of you who are not familiar with it. But... Um, Yep, that's pretty much all we have to report. Sorry, there's nothing more exciting to really talk about. Um, we celebrated Jay's 33rd birthday two days ago. 33. How do you feel about turning 33? The same as 32. 
The same as 32. You would be a great news reporter. You would really captivate everyone. I yeah, love you. I know. You do. <laughs> uh, Tom and Linda are going to pick us up on Sunday evening and we'll do an overnight and resupply, although we're gonna have too much food from our box at Standing Bear, but that's okay. Um, did anything else interesting happen today or is today kind of boring? Yeah, today was very boring. The trail was really easy. <laughs> Nothing happened. Yeah. So we're gonna, um, get ready for bed and we will see you guys in the morning we have a lot of storms and rain coming um so i'm expecting to kind of be a drenched rat by saturday but you know per usual out here have a good night <laughs> Turn that thing off. <laughs>